Yo, what's up? This is Angry Tom Tom channel. And today, I will be unboxing a special limited edition of RTX 3080s. Alright, by Asus, the Gundam Mobile Suit Edition. So this is my favorite GPU and I bought it for a second time. And I'm going to be comparing it with the, uh, my old GPU Vega 64. Okay. It's going to be like, this one is only 8 pin by 2 and this one is going to be 8 pin by 3. Okay. I already did a review of the speed um, on my mining rig. <coughs> um, it turns out to be good and it's pretty stable. So I believe it has like a good memory junction temperature too. Okay. This is how it looks if you want to see the details. Okay. Let me turn off the lights and zoom it in. Okay, this is a cooling system. Okay, this is the engineering. This is the uh, Gundam uh, shroud, how it looks from the top. And this is the software, which I don't really use. Okay, I don't use it to play games. I'm sorry, a gamers. And this is the uh, uh, this is the socket for the two HDMI. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know why it has like two HDMI. I've never used it anyway, so <clears throat> okay. Uh, if you want to read all this architecture, you're welcome. And this is a green SS compliant. Okay, this is what it looks from the side. It's 10 gigabyte of memory with the GDDR 6X. Okay, okay. I really like the box. It's really really small but it's really really powerful okay it's all sealed okay i believe this one is open so let's do unboxing <clears throat> on this okay there's a part code and okay let's do the unboxing itself okay oh my god it's it's stuck inside let's try to take it out okay this is how it looks Oh my goodness, look how cool it is, okay, it's like really um, plain with only the, the SS strict symbols and the strict symbols here, it's like RGB color, okay, <clears throat> so let's open it up, the boxes. Okay. Oh, so it comes with the uh, <clears throat> a welcome package, maybe like a startup guide. Okay, I don't know how to open it. Okay, now I know. Okay, comes with the plate. Um, I don't know, it's like a sticker plate or something like that. I'm not sure what this is for. Okay, it's nothing significant for me. There's a warranty card, three years warranty card. Okay. I'm not sure if you have to register it or not. Okay, thank you card for purchasing. Um, hold on. Okay, so this is one of my favorite graphic cards. Um, let's see if there's like a three years. Okay, I did not see anything here. Okay, but they said it's a three years, okay? <coughs> Okay, this is a split setup okay if you want to look at it um you might need it but i don't really need it so okay i don't really need to read the book because i'm not gonna be installing in my pc okay i'm just gonna be using my mining rig to uh do it okay let me put this this out of the box okay let's take this out of the box and um Okay, you can check, you got a strap for a cable management strap, okay. Uh, I'm gonna be needing it later. Okay, and then let's take out the real deal, which is the GPU itself. Okay, it looks great, it looks beautiful, okay. I really like it, let's take this out. Let's take this big baby out, okay. This is how it looks, okay. 
I like the design it's pretty cool especially when the LED is turned on on the top side okay I'm trying to look at the uh, thermal pad okay I believe there are a lot of thermal pads okay um, okay you can see it from the bottom too okay if you want to scan it I'll put like some lights so you can look at it okay there's a cable there uh, okay um, okay this is from the side it's pretty heavy you know I'm holding it like I'm almost slipping in my hand okay this is the socket of the uh, uh, two F S HDMI port okay and the rest is a uh, display port okay I don't know why is it hard to focus it's made in China so, okay two HDMI three display port and stainless steel okay stainless steel okay this is how it looks the socket it looks just like ordinary nothing really special with the SS brand uh, over there okay uh, let's check the thermal pad okay all right so let's give it a uh, thermal pad okay I see a big thermal pad on this side okay uh, it's really hard to uh, make a record and hold it at the same time it's like two kilogram look at that um, uh, what do you call this like a thermal pad okay there's a big thermal pad here all the way inside look at this that's how long it is okay and there's another thermal pad inside this okay did you see that shit oh that's just a plastic okay so that's not a thermal pad okay so and then um gonna look at it from another side let's see if it is like has like okay there's a uh, another thermal pad here okay if you like kept the inside okay there's a thermal pad there so this product has like a you can see the thermal pad from the outside let's see it from the other side okay there's another thermal pad inside if you can see over here look at that uh gray stuff that's like a fucking thermal pad so okay there's another thermal pad over there Did you see that um uh, the gray the gray stuff over there that's like a thermal pad okay that's not a thermal pad this is like a plastic okay so there's like a plenty of a thermal pad on the back plate okay so it should be running pretty decent okay uh, you cannot see the term the other thermal pad inside but you can see the thermal pad from the back plate so it's pretty good you know um, so one two and then I uh, can't see maybe three over there okay so uh, that's pretty much about this uh, beast it runs like it could run like 100 megahertz per uh, solution with this uh, card okay this card is really really powerful but it's really really power hungry too okay but I like it because it's really stable and the uh, temperature is pretty decent oh I think I take out the, the little thermal pad there damn okay I'll just leave it like that okay so this is the Satsu Sunrise this is the a, a power mode there is a silent mode okay so there's a switch button which you can uh, click depending on how you use it I'm gonna use the silent mode because I don't want to draw a lot of power with the mining and you can see it's designed in Germany look at this SS computer GBMH um, what city writing in Germany I'm not sure and but there's a Taipei Taiwan right over there okay so this is how it looks um, yeah, that's the uh, sticker uh, 2021 on the uh, 21st of April so I just get it like today you know so it looks really good I'm gonna be mining with this um, uh, with this new one I'm gonna put it on my mining rig right over there okay okay I'm gonna take out this MSI gaming trial which is underperforming and I'm gonna put those piece over there okay um, that's my another uh, kingdom if you can see it from the bottom okay that's that that white stuff that's also the Gundam edition okay 
looks pretty cool. If you see it from the top, you can tell there's a Gundam edition. That that is how it looks. Okay, when it's turning on, it's pretty beautiful. Okay, and it's running pretty fast. Okay, it's been running pretty well at the uh, 99.91. That's the uh, Gundam edition. Okay, and also it used to be like 100 point something it decreased but it's still stable and you can see with the AC it's only running like 46 degree so it runs really good and the speed is pretty decent okay this is um, the uh, memory junction temperature I was mentioning it when it's first new it's only like 84 now it's going up to 86 to 88 which is still fine because it's still below uh, 97 98 degree which is the highest that you should that you can go so this is pretty decent uh, temperature and it is not thermal throttling definitely okay so it is safe okay it's not thermal throttling so it's pretty good this is good card for mining I don't care about the gaming part okay it should be good well let's now compare this card to my old um, Vega 64 you can see how how big of a difference between this Vega 64 AMD uh, Sapphire and this uh, Rock Streak. Let me I'll take out a ruler so you can see uh, the dimension. Okay, this is the ruler. Okay, so it is about okay, uh, maybe like more than 30 centimeters. So it should be about almost 33 centimeters. And then if you use this uh, ruler, it's about 13 centimeters, okay? And with all the, the metal bracket, it should be about uh, 15 and a half uh, centimeters, okay? You see that? 15 and a half centimeters, okay? So that's the, the dimension. So the height is around, let me measure the height. The height is around okay almost five centimeters okay 4.8 or 4.9 okay that's uh that's the height of this card so it's pretty huge card okay 33 by uh 15 or 15 or so okay 15 centimeters and this one is pretty small compared to this and i don't like this one because it it only has like one fan so it runs pretty pretty hot and high rpm so it's really loud okay so always get the three fan every time you do mining because it's gonna be like less heat okay so let's calculate the uh, the uh, temperature for this um, uh, Gundam okay let's shoot it it's around 43 degree let's shoot it from the side okay Okay. It's around 40 degree with the ACs. Well, hold on, it's like around 84. Okay, let me shoot it again. 41, 45, 43. Okay, so it's around 45. Okay, and on the top is 40 degree. So, um, I mean, it's still like it's exactly the same with the uh, with the statistics on on the display okay so if you check it out this okay it's around 45 degree so this uh, thermal gun it's pretty accurate right it's 45 degree I'll get the maximum so you can see um, uh, that's the temperature of the back plate I believe okay that's the temperature of the back plate okay not the memory junction okay so so I hope you find my video is really useful and if you want to make decision to buy it I really recommend it it's slightly more expensive but it has like three years warranty so um, I mean it's pretty fair okay and with the with this good quality you know um, it's gonna be a long life you know because the temperature is like low and it's good for mining too so uh, you don't uh, you make a right choice if you buy this one, okay? I really recommend this one. Um, I really love this uh, 
uh, performance and it might be slightly power hungry but it will last like maybe one year or more before you change the thermal grease or the thermal pad. So let me know how it goes if you guys already using this uh, uh, GP or VGA uh, 3080 by Gundam edition. Let me know. Let me know uh, how is your performance when you do mining with this uh, RTX 3080 by Asus. Um, so always stay strong and question everything. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, like button and do comment okay my target is 1000 subscriber this year okay at least 1000 subscriber okay stay strong and question everything i'll see you in the next video have a great night guys